Welcome back to the Mr. G Show. Woo! <laughs> Today we'll be learning two-step equations. Yesterday we went over one-step equations. And what was the secret to solving a one-step equation? Use the inverse. Very good. Always the opposite. So if we had a plus three, you would do a minus three. It's the same thing with two-step equations, but now we just do it the inverse twice. So we'll just start with an example, and we'll write down the steps. So if we have 2x plus 3 equals 15. That's our first example, 2x plus 3 equals 15. We notice that we have this multiplication, right? This is 2 times a number. 2x means 2 times a number. So that's multiplication, and that's an addition. So the inverse or opposite of addition would be subtraction. So the first step is to subtract 3. And we're going to subtract 3 on both sides of the equation has to be equal, right? To keep it equal, if I subtract 3 on this side, I have to subtract 3 on that side. So that leaves us with 2x equals 12. Again, 2x means multiplication. So this is 2 times a number. What's the inverse of multiplication? Division. Division. So then we divide by 2. So x would be 6. And a good idea would be to just check this real quick. Take the 6, put it here. 6 times 2, 12, 12 plus 3. 15. And it makes the sentence, the equation true. 15 equals 15. So we know that 6 is the answer, the solution. Okay. Questions on that one? All right, let's try another one. You do this one with your partner. See if you get the right answer. Solve that. I'll give you 10 seconds. Go. You got five. All right, time is up. Check with your partner what the answer is, see if you agree. What'd you get? Negative six. Negative six? I'm hearing negative six. Let's check. First step. We notice that this is subtraction. So the first thing we're going to do is add two. Both sides. This is a multiplication. This is negative three times a number. The inverse operation of multiply is divide. divide. So we would divide by negative three. So we do get negative six. Very good. Excellent. How many got negative six? Me. Get all those hands. All right. Oh my God. Excellent. Now for your favorite. What what equation do you think I'm gonna put up here that's your favorite? Fractions. Fractions. That's right. Ooh. I love fractions. What if we have an equation with a fraction? Then we start crying and say, why did I take this plan? You know. First thing I want to do is get rid of the fraction. I know some of you, and you might ask, would want to add the 2 first, right? And that's in other examples, that's what we did. We added the 2 and then we worried about this. The reason I don't want to teach you that way is because we're going to get into equations that have 2 or 3 or 4 fractions in it. And it's very difficult to add or subtract one number in the big mix of four or three fractions. So let's get rid of the fraction right away. You guys don't like fractions anyway, so get rid of it. So fraction means what? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? 
divide. So a fraction means division. So this is a number divided by 3. So what's the opposite of divide? Multiply. Multiply. So if we divide it by 3, we should multiply, multiply by 3. So we're going to multiply every term by 3. And just like before, we could put the 1 right there. We could divide these out. So we get x minus 6 equals 15. No more fractions. So that was our first step. So we multiplied by 3. That's our denominator. We divided by 3. Inverse, multiplied by 3. Notice I multiplied everything so that this stays equal. What would be step 2? Inverse of subtraction? Addition. So x is 21. Okay. Easy. Question? I did it a different way. I got rid of the e um, equations first, and then I got rid of the variable. I um, added two on both sides. Okay. So if we have x over 3, Minus 2 equals 5. You added the 2? Add okay. 2. Let's add 2. And then? I times 3 on both sides. So you multiply by 3. Is that okay? Are we allowed to do this? Mm, yes. Yes. And that's fine, right? And the thing I mentioned earlier is be careful because if we come into an equation where there's 2 or 3 fractions, a little trickier to do this. But that's fine. I'm not going to get mad at you and say, no, you can't do it that way. If this works for you, do it this way. But then pay extra attention when we do equations with two or three fractions. Because then we're going to have to do it this way. All right? So let me give you one with a fraction. You try it with your partner. And if you got that one, I think we're good. Try that one with your partner. I'll give you a little more time. 30 seconds. You copied it down. Ready? Go. seconds, check with your partner. All right, it's time. What's the answer? I'm hearing negative 35. Anyone else? Yes? Negative 35? Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah? So I'm hearing negative 35. Let's check. Steps. What would be the first step? We want to get rid of the fraction. Remember, fraction meant division. So if we're dividing by 5, we should multiply by 5. And after we multiply by 5, the next thing? Subtract 20. Subtract 20. How many got negative 35? Me. About half of you. All right. We'll work on those. That's it. Very good.